Listen to Jesus' sad message for you welcome, everyone. Today, we're diving deep into a message that holds profound significance, a message that is often overlooked or misunderstood. It's a message from Jesus Christ, and it carries with it a weight of sorrow but also a path to redemption and hope. When we think of Jesus, we often picture scenes of love, miracles, and ultimate sacrifice. But there is a part of his message that is deeply sorrowful, a lamentation for humanity that echoes through the ages. This sad message is not one of despair, but rather a call to awaken our hearts to the reality of our lives and the choices we make. Jesus lived in a world much like ours, filled with joy and sorrow, hope and despair. He saw the beauty in creation and the potential in every human soul. Yet, he also witnessed the darkness that can cloud our hearts, the greed, hatred, and indifference that often pervade our world. In the Gospel of Luke, we find Jesus weeping over Jerusalem. He says, If you, even you, had only known on this day what would bring you peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. These words are filled with sorrow because Jesus sees the path to true peace, yet he knows that many will not take it. He laments the destruction that awaits because of the choices made by the people. This is a powerful reminder that Jesus grieves over the suffering caused by our actions and the lost opportunities for love and reconciliation. Another profound aspect of Jesus' sad message is found in the parable of the prodigal son. Here, Jesus tells the story of a young man who demands his inheritance and squanders it in reckless living. When he hits rock bottom, he returns to his father, expecting rejection. Instead, he is met with open arms and a heart full of forgiveness. This parable reveals the deep sorrow Jesus feels when we stray from the path of righteousness but also his immense joy when we return to him. It's a message of the boundless mercy and love that God offers, no matter how far we've gone astray. Jesus' sadness is also evident in his interactions with individuals. Consider his encounter with the rich young ruler, who asks Jesus what he must do to inherit eternal life. Jesus tells him to sell all he has and give to the poor, but the young man walks away sorrowful because he cannot part with his wealth. Jesus, seeing this, is deeply saddened. This encounter illustrates the sorrow Jesus feels when we choose material wealth over spiritual richness, when we prioritize temporary gains over eternal treasures. In the Garden of Gethsemane, we see Jesus at his most vulnerable. He prays with such intensity that his sweat becomes like drops of blood. He knows the suffering that awaits him, the betrayal, the pain, the crucifixion. Yet, his sorrow is not just for his impending physical agony. It's for the burden of sin he carries, the separation from God that humanity faces. His prayer, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done, reflects the profound sadness and the ultimate surrender to God's will. Jesus' sad message is a call to introspection and transformation. It's an invitation to look within ourselves and recognize the areas where we have fallen short. It's a reminder that our actions have consequences, not just for ourselves but for the world around us. Jesus' sorrow is a reflection of his profound love for us, a love that desires our true happiness and fulfillment. Yet, within this sorrow lies the promise of redemption. Jesus' message is not one of unending sadness but of hope and renewal. His life, death, and resurrection offer us a way out of our despair and into the light of God's love. He calls us to repentance, to turn away from the darkness and embrace the light. As we reflect on Jesus' sad message, let's remember that his sorrow is a testament to his deep care for each of us. It's a call to open our hearts, to seek forgiveness, and to strive for a life that reflects his teachings. Let's not be like the people of Jerusalem who failed to recognize what would bring them peace. Let's not be like the rich young ruler who couldn't let go of his possessions. Instead, let's be like the prodigal son, who, despite his mistakes, found his way back to the father's loving embrace. In the end, Jesus' sad message is a profound reminder of the stakes involved in our spiritual journey. It's a call to live with purpose, to love deeply, and to seek the peace that only he can provide. As we navigate our lives, let's keep this message close to our hearts, allowing it to guide our actions and transform our lives. Thank you for joining me today. 
Let's carry this message forward, sharing the love and hope of Jesus Christ with a world that desperately needs it.